What's up everyone, I'm Gushy. Patch 2.11 came out a couple days ago, and with it came really nice fixes, along with some other stealth changes, which some of you guys might not like. So in this video we'll be going over all the things that got changed with this patch, and without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing that got added with this patch is a way to track the common courtesy trophy. I made a video on how to get this trophy, so if you guys don't know how to do this, I'll link it right over here and in the description below. But if you guys don't know what this is, it's basically some unwritten tales in the single player. So there's no quest markers or anything in the quest log and you kind of just had to track it yourself. Now we have an option in the menu. So if we go to collections, scroll down to activities and then go all the way to the right, we'll see the common courtesy progression. So this is more of a quality of life update, which is nice to have if you guys haven't completed this already. The next thing that was fixed was the remote play touchpad gestures. I actually don't use remote play that much. So for those of you who do, let me know if this works for you guys. Moving on to the next change, we have a boost to the Trials of EO rewards. For those of you who have been doing Trials of EO, we know that we get a measly one honor and one blessing as a reward. And I'm glad to say that with this patch, they increased the rewards just by a bit. At least for this week, now I get 1,100 essence and 400 honor. Not sure if the rewards will be changing each week because that would be pretty crazy to be getting 400 honor. If it was chapter 3 of the raid again, that would definitely be the fastest way to grind honor. Next, Sucker Punch also fixed some of the new game plus cosmetics that were missing in Legends. I've seen a lot of you guys asking in the comment section of my videos what to do if some of your cosmetics hasn't been showing up in Legends. And with this patch, this should fix all of it. So if you guys have been having problems with some of your new game plus cosmetics, like some of the stuff from Baku the Voiceless, or even some of the gear from the other dye merchants, go ahead and check in Legends to see if you have them unlocked. Okay, finally, the last thing that Sucker Punch fixed was some bugs and a very general statement of adjustments. They haven't specifically mentioned what exactly they adjusted. So I'm here to tell you guys at least one of the things that I found that they adjusted. And this is the amount of survival ammo stations that are present. And let me tell you guys that they got rid of a lot of them. So this is a major nerf to all the classes that rely on ammo. Specifically the Ronin and now the Samurai who really rely on those black powder bombs. And I, I really don't like this change. Mostly because before with all the ammo stations, we weren't forced to use smoke bombs with munitions as our primary ammo source. This gave options for the Ghost Weapon 2 slot, letting people use things like Caltrops and the Healing Gourd, specifically the Bottle of Liquid Courage. But with this change, because there's less ammo stations, smokes with munitions is kind of going to be a must for a lot of you Samurai and Ronin. So let's go through each of these survival maps and go over which ones they got rid of and the ones that actually stayed. As a side note, I found that there's an actual name for these ammo stations and they're officially called Ghost Offerings. So I'll just be calling them Offerings. Okay, starting off with the map last week, which is Twilight and Ashes. At Obelisk, there was an offering right over here next to this barrel. That one is definitely gone. Next, moving on to the ledge, they actually got rid of two, one over here and one right by the cliff right over here. And then finally at the lighthouse, they got rid of one, I think, by the drum over here. I believe all the drums are still there, so you don't have to worry about healing. As we go through each map, you'll find a commonality where they mostly got rid of the offerings specifically near the points. Next, moving on to Shores of Vengeance. Starting off with the cliff, they got rid of two offerings by the point. One right over here, and another close one right over here. There's also one in between beach and cliff, usually right over here, which they also got rid of. At beach, I believe there were two offerings, one over here and another one by the water. Either way, they, they pretty much got rid of both of them. Also at the buy stations, they got rid of the two ones on both sides of the ramp over here and over here. Those are a pretty common spot to get ammo on this map. So I think it was worth mentioning. And then at boat, I think there was one that I pretty much used, which was right over here. And that one's gone as well. Next onto Shadows of War, I remember one offerings right over here, right by spawn. That's gone, but on the way to stables, this one is still here. But that one's pretty much the closest one to stable. As it got rid of the three stations at stables, there was one by the corner by the drum over here, one in the corner by the tower, and one on the other corner by the other drum. Next moving on to the spawn for barracks, there used to be two offerings, one on this side, which they got rid of, but fortunately they kept the offering on the right hand side. Next, moving closer to barracks, the offering at this doorway right over here is still there, so I'd say barracks still has a decent amount of offerings that you can use. Next, on the way to dojo, this offering is still there, 
But for the dojo spawn, there was one offering right over here, right by the hut where you can pick up to go right over the edge, which they got rid of. And so Shadows of War is going to be a bit harder because we can't buy ghost ammo, making munitions that much more required on this map. Next on to the Defensive Valley Village. For stables, they got rid of pretty much the only one nearby, which is right over here by the hay cart. For the side spawn for stables, I think there was one somewhere over here too as well, which they also got rid of. On to Villa, they got rid of two of them. One that was right over here by the other hay cart. This offering directly in the middle of Villa and Stable is still there, which will probably be your go-to. But a really popular offering spot right over here they got rid of. For the villa spawn, they still have the one right over here, so that's good. And then moving on to farm, there's basically no offerings at all. There used to be one right over here by the burnt house, and I believe there was one somewhere else, but they got rid of it as well. Finally, onto blood in the snow. At camp, they definitely had one right over here, which they got rid of. Then going down, they also got rid of the one right over here in this corner. The offering directly in between camp and mine is still there, right over here. Moving on to mine, they still have one on the very left hand side, which honestly I never use because the more important one that they got rid of, which was the one right by the drum somewhere over here. However, the ones in between mine and outpost are still here. So the offering right by the bridge right over here is still there. Then moving on to outpost, there was definitely one right over here, which they got rid of. But the more important one, which is right over here, which is a lot closer and the one I used more is still there. And so with that, that's pretty much all the offering locations that I remember. There are definitely some that I missed. So if you guys remember some important offering locations that they actually got rid of, let me know in the comment section down below. And definitely let me know what you guys think about this change. Do you like it or dislike it? I understand why Sucker Punch did it. With the survival waves changing from 25 to 15, the scarcity of ghost offerings needed to be adjusted as well. With the changes to 15 waves, it was way easier to keep up your ghost weapon ammo which really brought forth the Black Powder meta, making it probably the strongest playstyle for mostly all the classes. However, reducing the amount of ghost offerings doesn't fix this problem. We can still use smoke bombs with the munitions to keep refilling our ghost weapon ammo, but it pretty much makes it a must to use munitions. As I mentioned before, I really like the build diversity when ammo is more abundant, making caltrops, and healing gourds a lot more useful. So I'm not really sure of how I feel about this yet, but keep in mind this is only for survival. I checked a couple maps for rivals, so Realm of the Dead still has all the ammo stations. So when the final stand waves hit, you still will have all the ammo that you need to wipe them out as quick as possible. Even the maps with multiple areas still have the same offerings, especially at the end. So these offering changes are only specific to survival. With that, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and consider subscribing, as this is your place to find all of your Ghost of Tsushima content. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one, and GG.